Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about the date of August 11th or 8-11. And of course, uh, the reason I want to take a look at 8-11 is because Revelation 8-11 uh, is the focus of my channel, uh, the Falling Wormwood Star. So I want to show you guys uh, some interesting things about August 11th. And a lot of the information, I guess, will be a recap. I'll have some new stuff uh, to show you, but some of it will be a recap um, if you've been watching my channel for a while. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to be focusing on this number, 1388. Uh, today I want to show you uh, more of the 1388s and some, some that I've already shown. Uh, but the origin of the 1388 uh, is from the Great Pyramid of Giza. Its current height is 138.8 meters, or 455 feet. And um, before we get started here, I want to show you guys something uh, from a few weeks ago. I did this video, uh, Caroline Kennedy, uh, Venus and the Falling Wormwood Star, on July 23rd, 2019. And there was an article that came out that day on several websites uh, about an asteroid that was as big as the Great Pyramid of Giza uh, that will fly past the Earth on July 24th. What was interesting about this uh, is this article came out just a few hours after I had made my Caroline Kennedy video. Uh, but if you look at Caroline Kennedy's birthday, November 27th, 1957, uh, to the day that the Great Pyramid asteroid uh, was supposed to fly by the Earth, uh, it was 3,217 weeks. Which is, and 3217 is the 455th prime number. And of course, uh, 455 is our height of the Great Pyramid. I just thought that was kind of interesting that this article came out just a few hours after I'd made my uh, 1377 video. And what's also interesting, since we're going to be talking about this 1388 today and Revelation 811, if we go back here and look at Revelation 811 uh, as it would sit in a Bible, um, if we take the Gematria value of this, verse it sums to 1377 uh, but with with the 11 uh, as you would see it in written in a Bible uh, it sums to 1388 and I think it's no coincidence uh, that this was, uh, I think it was precisely put together, this verse of Revelation, um, like that for our Great Pyramid reference, and then the 1377, uh, which, which connects back to uh, many rituals that I've shown you guys before. But 1377 and 1388, uh, both, both from Revelation 811. Uh, I find that very interesting. I, I'm sure it's sure it's all by design. Uh, but moving on here with the uh, more 1388s that I want to show you guys. Uh, if we look at the World Trade Complex, World Trade Center Complex, it opened on April 4th, 1973. And of course, uh, it was destroyed on September 11th, 2001. 
Uh, so it was open a total of 10,388 days, another 1,388. And you can find that here. Opened August 6th, or construction started August 6th, 1968, uh, which is interesting because that was the 23rd anniversary of, of the uh, first nuclear weapon used in warfare. But opening 4 4 1973. which is 46 years ago. Another 1388, uh, I know I've shown you guys this one before, uh, the JFK assassination uh, compared to September 11th. Uh, he was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963, and the events of September 11th, 2001 were 13,808 days later. Another 1388. And I had talked about this a little bit before. I talked about how the planet Jupiter crosses the galactic equator on December 4th. And that is the day that the Geminid, Geminid meteor shower begins. The Geminid meteor shower begins on December 4th. And Jupiter will cross this galactic equator on December 4th, coinciding with the Geminid meteor shower. And uh, what makes that so significant is that the Geminid meteor shower, uh, the source uh, that we're told for the Geminid meteor shower is the asteroid 3200 Phaethon. And uh, Phaethon uh, is another Greek alternative name of Jupiter. And in Greek isopsophy, uh, Phaethon sums to 1,365, and that's also interesting uh, because the United States um, spent a total of 1,365 days in World War II. Thirteen sixty-five uh, for Phaethon, and the thirteen eighty-eight that I want to show you guys here uh, is that Phaethon. Uh, it was discovered on October eleventh, nineteen eighty-three. Discovery of thirty-two hundred Phaethon. October 11th, 1983, and of course, oct is 8, so it was discovered on an 8-11 date. If we were to take October in its original form as the 8th month, it was discovered on 8-11. And its discovery from October 11th, 1983 to August 11th, 2019 is 13,088 days. Thirteen thousand eighty-eight days. Back to our pyramid reference here, and let's see here. Of course, I showed you guys this as well. Uh, the Trump Tower in Chicago, thirteen hundred eighty-eight feet uh, total height, and construction start. Construction started on March 10th, 2005, or March 17th, 2005. And the ceremonial topping out was 
January 3rd, 2009. So 1,388 feet and 1,388 days from beginning of construction to the ceremonial topping out of the building. And I've showed you guys this this before as well. Just just another recap, I guess. But I just wanted to show you the asteroid ritual with Carolyn Kennedy. Uh, very interesting that that came out just a few hours after my Carolyn Kennedy video. Um, I don't think I had shown this one before. And then I wanted to talk about Faith on. Uh, something interesting about this 3200 Phaethon, and this will kind of lead me into my last slide here. Look at the Gematria calculator um, under the Francis Bacon cipher, I believe. We plug this in here uh, in the Francis Bacon cipher, 3200 Phaethon. And what we're doing here is using this 3200 as its uh, a whole number, natural number here, adding it to the value of the uh, letters here. But 3200 Phaethon uh, in Francis Bacon uh, sums to 3313. And I've shown you guys the 3313 uh, many times before as well. Did a whole whole video, couple, many videos that referencing the 3313. And in fact, the first video I ever did, I never showed the 3313. It was a while after this video, but Revelation 811 uh, sits in between Revelation 612 and 911, but um, with 33 and 13 verses uh, separating. So that's the origin of the 3313. But I had made this video last year on May 10th, and this is the, I guess, my first thought uh, that this 3313 was significant. But I've shown you a a version of this slide before with the 3313 and the Pyramid of Giza. And I guess I've never fully explained why it's applied to this pyramid. Um, I've shown you that Revelation 612 moved 33 verses to 811, and then 13 more to 911. And if you sum those verses of Revelation, it's 2334, uh, which is the same numbers as the base, length of the base of the Great Pyramid. Um, but there is more to it uh, than this. And I'm going to get into that in my next video. It's going to be a much larger video. I'm going to cover a lot of stuff, uh, but I have the star 3313 is the, 24, is the 24th star number, and I have this as the capstone. On the pyramid and I guess I just want to show you that this isn't just me putting these numbers on a cool picture uh, there's an actual basis uh, and this is most likely um, all by design applying these verses of Revelation to the Great Pyramid like this Anyways, guys, I just wanted to recap on the 1388, um, show you guys this 3200 faith on. Uh, for August 11th, and just another recap on the Jupiter crossing the galactic equator that coincides with the Geminid constellation on December 4th. Oh, I forgot here. Um, On 8-11, uh, Jupiter, the other thing I forgot here was on 8-11, uh, Jupiter, 
uh, comes out of retrograde motion and starts heading back towards uh, the galactic equator on 811. I had mentioned that before in another video, but that was the other other thing here I forgot. But on 811, Jupiter heads back towards the Golden Gate and the galactic equator and crosses it on 12-4. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching.